Electric vehicles are a key part of the UK's green transition and are transforming how we get around. With many major Chinese brands rapidly entering the UK market, concerns are being raised about cybersecurity risks. Some have claimed these vehicles will be used to spy on UK drivers or even be remotely shut down, causing mass panic. Are these worries grounded in fact, or are they being blown out of proportion? Modern cars, including EVs, are highly connected devices. They rely on software for navigation, automated driving and safety features, making them vulnerable to cyber attacks. These risks are not exclusive to Chinese EVs. They apply to all modern vehicles. While connected cars can improve efficiency, they can also be vulnerable, whether your car is from the UK, Europe or China. In the UK, there are various cybersecurity requirements for all vehicles, regardless of origin. These are set by government bodies like the Centre for Connected and Autonomous Vehicles, and Chinese EVs must comply with these standards just like any other brand. If they don't, they are not allowed on UK roads. Chinese EV manufacturers have a strong vested interest in the cybersecurity of their vehicles. A major hack or breach would severely damage consumer trust. Nonetheless, required standards are sometimes insufficient and the quality of EVs varies. Cybersecurity risks persist due to faulty software, poor security practices, weak encryption or inconsistent application of updates, issues that can affect any car regardless of where it's made. Regulation might be needed to ensure that vehicle safety and performance is not dependent on regular software updates from manufacturers. For individual consumers, what matters most is how well their vehicle software is maintained and secured over time, not necessarily the provenance of the vehicle. But while cybersecurity risks to normal consumers may be overblown, there are other risks. One is who controls the mass of data gathered by EVs. As a generative AI boom has shown, owning and using data drives innovation and economic growth. Countries like China, with high levels of government coordination and a growing market, could gain significant advantages over UK firms, particularly where data sharing between companies is facilitated. Second, as with the 5G debate, the UK may be uncomfortable with relying on companies from non-allied countries to provide parts of its national infrastructure. For example, increasing geopolitical tension could result in Chinese EV companies being unable to roll out updates to UK consumers, potentially making their vehicles less secure or efficient. Finally, the prospect that individual vehicles might be targeted and monitored is a concern for drivers who are particularly security sensitive. So, do Chinese EVs pose a cybersecurity risk? While no connected device is ever 100% secure, the fears surrounding Chinese-made vehicles need to be grounded in evidence. Presuming adherence to existing standards and requirements, all EVs should be subject to rigorous and prescriptive risk management approaches. Any specific concerns around systemic risks from Chinese EVs should be coupled with an industry-wide framework to designate high-risk vendors. Nonetheless, there are legitimate concerns for government about whether Chinese EVs pose systemic risks. These, however, need to be balanced with the UK's climate goals. Chinese EVs are cheap, can be produced at scale and will undoubtedly play a major role in the global energy transition. Working out this balance is a key challenge for the UK government. 